Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe everyone! Hello mga kastadi! For today's video, I will be sharing to you the culture pertaining to its meaning, characteristics, and function. We all know that culture is a big part of becoming who we are today, and it's the basis of our identity in one's life. So to go deeper about the culture and with the part we do, let's go on with the topic. The meaning of culture Culture is a comprehensive and encompassing term that includes what we have learned about our history, values, words, customs, art, and habits. Culture comes to have different meanings and ideas itself. Questioning what is culture? According to A. A. Hobel, culture is the sum total of integrated learned behavior patterns which are characteristics of members of a society and which are, therefore, not the result of biological inheritance. It means both a conscious and unconscious conditioning, the term, are to be considered as a practicing our own culture which is enculturation and understanding how we learn to adapt others' world's culture. It means acculturation. Another, according to H.T. Mazumador, culture is the sum total of human achievements, material as well as non-material, capable of transmission, sociologically, an example, by tradition and communication, vertically as well as horizontally. It is a means of life in people towards a certain geographical area. The Characteristics of Culture First, Learned Behavior. It represents an essential component of culture. In this context, learned behavior can refer to anything from how we dress, to how we speak, and to the food we eat. Second, culture is abstract. Culture exists in the minds or habits of the members of society, where it is the background of every human communication. Third, culture is a pattern of learned behavior. Culture is the patterns of learned and shared behavior and beliefs of a particular social, ethnic, or age group. It is also the complicated whole of collective human beliefs with an organized stage of civilization that can be peculiar to a country or time period. Fourth, culture is the products of behavior. Culture is a belief about ethics, behaviors, and values that are held by a majority of people within a society. In short, that behavior determines culture, and culture determines behavior, and as a result, it's a vice versa. Fifth, culture includes attitudes, values, knowledge. These are personal experiences and they derive from social and cultural mores. From attitudes, they describe a collection of beliefs centered in a single object or scenario. While values, they express a single belief that directs actions and judgments in a variety of circumstances and objects. Sixth, Culture also includes material objects. Material culture refers to the physical objects, resources, and spaces that people use to define their culture. So, the entirety of physical objects created by individuals to meet their needs, particularly. Seventh, culture is shared by the members of society. Shared culture is culture that emerges with a shared experience of durable groups. So, culture is everything made, learned or shared by the members of a society, including values, beliefs, behaviors, and material objects. Eight, culture is super organic. The word super organic is useful when it implies that what may be quite a different phenomenon from a cultural point of view. So, super organic refers to the claim that culture is an entity that exists over and beyond the individuals that make it up. So, referring to features of a culture that are thought to be as superior to individual community members. Ninth, culture is persuasive. Cultural persuadables refers to a perspective on persuasion that focuses on the power of membership in the cultural group to influence the actions. So, it is how others are attempting to influence. Tenth, culture is a way of life. Culture can be defined as all the ways of life, including arts, beliefs, and institutions of a population that are passed down from generation to generation. As such, it includes codes of manners, dress, language, religions, 
rituals, and art. Culture is a way of life of a group of people who share similar beliefs and customs. 11. Culture is a human product. Culture is a creation of society in interaction and depends for its existence upon the continuance of society. As a result, they are the continuously evolving products of people interacting with each other. 12. Culture is idealistic. Culture embodies the ideas and norms of a group. So it sets ideal goals before individuals which is worth attaining. And it consists of those ideals that people would like to attain as a society. 13. Culture is transmitted among members of society. The cultural ways are learned by persons from persons. So cultural is transmitted through language, material objects, ritual, institutions, and art from one generation to the next. 14. Culture is continually changing. Culture is always changing and it defines an individual's everyday life. So cultures are externally affected by a contact between societies which may also produce or inhabit social shifts and changes in cultural practices. Fifteenth, culture is variable. Cultural variables are variations in attitudes, experience, and values between individuals from different cultures. So it also varies within our society from time to time. Cultural variables are differences in behavior, outlook, and values between people from different societies. Sixteenth, culture is an integrated system. Culture possesses an order and system. It varies parts and integrated with each other, and any new element which is introduced is also integrated. So, cultural integration is when individuals from one culture adopt practices from another culture without diminishing their own. 17. Language is the chief vehicle of culture. A specialized language pattern serves as a common band to the members of a particular group or subculture. In other words, language is a vehicle for people to communicate with their peers and convey meaning to their social and cultural relationship. The functions of culture. It is the collection of values, beliefs, behaviors, customs, and attitudes that distinguish one society from another. It is to determine the rules that govern how firms operate in society. First function is culture defines situations. Each culture has many subtle cues which define its situation. It reveals whether one should prepare to fight, run, laugh, or make love. Where it encompasses religion, food, what we wear, how we wear it, our language, marriage, music, and it's different all over the world. Second, culture defines attitudes, values, and goals. Each person learns in his culture what is good, true, and beautiful. Attitudes, values, and goals are defined by the culture, so it is the whole of material and spiritual values specific to religious or social group, set of shared attitudes, values, and goals. Third, culture defines myths, legends, and the supernatural. Myths and legends are an important part of every culture. They may inspire, reinforce effort, and sacrifice, and bring comfort and bravement, whether they are true is sociologically and important. So myths, legends, and the supernatural are human constructs that attempt to explain our interactions with the unknown. Fourth and last, culture provides behavior patterns. Culture provides patterns of acceptable behavior and belief. So culture is a society's unique patterns of behavior. Culture and society. A culture consists of the objects of a society, whereas a society consists of the people who are sharing a common culture. So culture and society are intricately related.